Get in. No, please. Get in. Okay, just... Okay, Lifetime remakes the terrifying kidnapping and assault of a Minnesota mother and her daughter in the true crime story abduction, The Mary Stoffer Story. Yeah, Allison Hannigan plays Mary in the movie, but we sat down with the real mother and daughter who want this movie to bring hope to other survivors. The search continues for a missing mother and daughter. I thought of everything. No one will find it. Mom, we have to pretend to like him. We gotta go. Mom, don't. He's gonna get mad. He liked to use me to control and manipulate her. I said try! No matter what happened, God would care for us. Minnesota missionary Mary Stoffer and her family were just days away from traveling to the Philippines. I took Beth to the beauty parlor to get her hair cut so that we would look nice for our trip. And it was there in the parking lot of the beauty parlor that we were abducted. This is the actual car that a man forced Mary and Beth into before taking off. Mary Stouffer's captor is believed to be a former student. Ming Sen Shu, as seen in this real life yearbook photo, had been a student in Mary's ninth grade math class. He was obsessed with her and blamed his low grade for ruining his life. For seven weeks, Beth and Mary were held captive in a closet in Ming's actual house seen here. Do you want your daughter to die? No. Then you'll make love to me the way you did to your husband. Mary credits her survival on her faith. And finally, she was able to use a loose hinge on the closet door to her advantage. Beth saw right away that this meant freedom for us. And she started pulling on my clothes. She said, Mama, don't do it. Mama, you know what he said, that if he ca caught us trying to escape, he'd kill us. I slapped her on the cheek. <laughs> Not hard, but I had to get her attention. And I said, Beth, listen, if God has given us this way of escape, we've got to take it. Approximately 3.30 this afternoon, our Ramsey County Sheriff's dispatcher received a phone call from a woman who identified herself as Mary Stauffer. She stated she had freed herself from a shackled position. As this real-life footage shows, Mary and Beth did make their escape. Ming was arrested, but he was not over Mary. When he saw her on the witness stand, he attacked. He grabbed me by the neck and held a knife in front of me and said, get back or I'll kill her. The cut goes from down in my chin to the side of my lip and then out into my cheek. It took 62 stitches to close the wound. Nearly 40 years later, Mary and Beth refused to let their captor win. We made a choice where basically 53 days of our lives was pretty much a living hell. The decision we made was after that's over, like he doesn't get another day. Oh, what? I know. Ming was sentenced to life in prison, abducted. The Mary Stouffer story premieres Saturday on Lifetime. Kit. I, I don't know what to say, but uh -huh. next up, guys, our new interview with John Travolta. We're right back after these messages from...